All right. So I swapped out some shotgun shells for some handgun ammo, which will be very, very useful. I'd rather have the shotgun, honestly, but I kind of want to stockpile on that. So I don't want to use the shotgun if I can help it. But apparently the spider takes one pistol shot and two shotgun shells to actually fully kill. Which is good. Well, bad. Because two shotgun shells is not good. So there's also another green herb there. I didn't actually realize. Seriously, did I forget the lighter? I forgot the lighter. I'm so dumb. Le legit, I just said this. Like, five seconds ago, I'm going to bring the lighter. And then I walk out of the room without the lighter. Ah. That's so dumb. Really wish the lighter was a passive effect or something like that. And you know what? There's some fuel right there. We'll never be coming back here. Well, we are until... But we're, we still have a bunch of the mansion left. So I'm gonna just refill... Refill that. And, uh... Be done. Sweet, we still have battery packs too. That's really useful. But I don't think there's zombies in this place. I think there's like a few zombies. Maybe like four or five. I don't think you have to kill them though. Maybe one. There's one zombie in a really annoying spot, and he's really, uh, annoying, like I said. So maybe I'll kill him. Alright, so basically, what does this- a strange silhouette hovers in the redstone light. So it's an eye. Could it have some kind of meaning? So it is an eye. An eye, what does an eye mean? Can't tell if that's... Okay. It's on the thing. Good. If it doesn't come down, I'm fine with it. So another eye. Yes, it has a meaning, but I'm not sure. Okay, what does this do? An eye. Hmm. Are they all eyes? I know it's a puzzle. Why do you have to be so cryptic, game? Either way, let's just continue on our merry little way. So it's an eye, an eye, and an eye. Okay. Three eyes. No idea what that means. Either way, let's go back over here. You have to go forward and actually advance somewhere new. Because right now we're just going back and forth while I'm going back and forth. I always do that, man. I feel so bad. I feel like a complete idiot when I say that. We and our... Something's up with me. Yeah, can't help. Can't help how I speak. Okay, so now we can just climb up. There we go. Just like that. And now this will lead us to a... Okay, yep. Okay, so basically, right here, there's a map. But I'm not going to actually click it or get it because it's a noob trap. And a bee will come out. There's Barry. Jill knows something's up, man. She knows. She heard that. 
heard about killing stars and everything. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all Not making eye con contact again. Creepy mansion That's the one thing. Actually, I'll right. talk after this cutscene. Yeah, I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry. I'm just going to get some fresh air. I'm lucky I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. See, that's how I know someone is lying. You just never make eye contact, ever. And it's just like, oh, well, he's either, uh, lying or something. Also, there's a secret passage down here. We're not going down here because that's the, the awkward ring, and we do not want to do that. Plant 42, report. Four days has passed since the accident. Ex- Yeah. Accident. Uh, the plant F plant point 42. Wait, the point? The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know in com comparison with the other group of plants, the T-Virus has had a substantial stronger effect on this one. The T-Virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its roots, somehow it has rooted itself down in the basement. Also that sounds weird. We have also found that Plant 42 has two main source sources of... Nah, I mean I don't care, but it sounds weird. Immediately after the incident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There's a high possibility that it's one of the, it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting plants 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling on the first floor. We are sure that it's used it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacles like vines are protruding from the bulb. <clears throat> we believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses prey, it uses tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, it suckers on the vines, drain the prey of its blood. Wow, that's uh, kind of crude and rude. We also noticed that it has some intelligence when it captures plays or when it's inactive. The veins, vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to the Plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it ha it was like it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. Henry Starton, May 21st, 1998. So very interesting. I think there's a key in here. Which that is a boss later in this game. I'll have to fight it. Also... The door open, which has a zombie in it, and I'm going to deal with that zombie. I don't know why I didn't auto lock, but I do want to kill it. I do. Come on. Okay, well, he's alive, but I don't think uh, we have to worry about him to become a Crimson Head because of the fact that... Well, yeah. 
Usually he's in this room. I don't know why he actually came in the bathroom. I have never actually really seen him come in the bathroom. Usually I just try to aim. Is there a note here? No. Wait, was that my... Yeah, that was my shadow. I was like, ooh, someone just ran across there. Creepy. Also, we got this key. I know where exactly it is. It's right here. Do I have enough room? Yeah, oh yeah. Definitely. Got enough room for uh, everything. Also, I'm just going to take this green herb and use it really quick. Also, I want to check if... Okay. They're still lit. I was like, are they still lit? Or did they die out? I don't think the candles burn out. I don't think the game has that mechanic in it. I know I shouldn't be using little ones because that is such a waste, but... Oh well. So there is no further use for that key, which is fine. We get another key, so we basically swapped out keys. So there is a guy hanging. He will be coming back very soon. I'm having difficulty getting this handgun ammo. Okay, there we go. And, uh, there is a note. I mean, the self-defense gun. And a note. Suicide note. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive, but Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me. Though, there's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is a regret beyond words. But this is just big, better than just wanting to, waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and one at least, and at least let me am in my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. Oh, I wonder if Linda ever read that. The best shows of having been used. So basically, we just came here for the self-defense pistol and a key which we get from this but I think there's a zombie in here he said oh I left him in the bathroom yep so basically the zombie came down from the, the thing conveniently mind you there's something inside the bathtub yep I don't think we even need to bother with these people. Yeah, I don't think we need to even bother with them. Yeah, sure, they come back, but unless they, uh, come out here, then they won't be a problem. Which I don't think they do come out. Which is perfect. Alright, we can put this self-defense pistol away because we don't actually need it. And then I have four inventory slots basically. And I will continue the save. Because I just feel like this is a good place to save. I don't want to die considering we're going to the aqua ring. And the aqua ring is not a hard place at all, but there's uh, some sharks down there. And a puzzle that I don't actually know how to do, really. Say successful. I kind of know how to do it, though. <coughs> Oof. Alright. So we should be good. We have some... We have a healing item just in case things get hairy down there. Let's just go through here again. 